I'll treat you to a Dairy Queen. Why are you being all nice? Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports. Continuing the celebration of the Olympics this week, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite sets that is out there for Team USA Baseball. And the reason that I really enjoy this set is it's kind of flown under the radar for quite some time. So I don't want to call it a hidden gem, but I honestly kind of think it is. Well, to introduce this set, I'm going to start with talking about the 1984 Team USA Baseball team. Everybody knows this card. It's the Mark McGuire rookie card. Uh, he was part of the 1984 Olympic team that played in Los Angeles. If you guys get a chance, check out the video. I'll post it right up here. I do a video celebrating the 1984 team. Also, the Through the Mail Thursday that I just posted yesterday actually featured one of the members off of the 1984 Team USA team. So definitely check that out as well, which will be posted in yesterday's video. So this set uh, was released by Topps in 1985, and this isn't the best shape Mark McGuire rookie card you'll ever find. This one's actually in pretty rough shape. I've had this thing for years, and it's quite beat up, and that's the way it is sometimes. Well, in 1985, Topps didn't cover everybody that was on the 1984 team. And I don't know if that was for eligibility purposes or what it was, but only a certain few off of that team were selected to be in the set. Well, one of my favorite players ever never was in the set. Well, in 1992, celebrating Team USA in the 1992 Olympics, Dairy Queen came out with a limited edition set that if you bought an ice cream sundae, and I remember doing this as a kid, you got an ice cream helmet filled with ice cream with Team USA on it, and I wish I still had that helmet, I would show it to you. But with that, I think maybe with the purchase of that Sunday or maybe for a dollar more, you got a pack of three cards with Team USA players on it. And this, I've had my collection for quite some time, is the set. And this is a Will Clark, I don't want to say rookie card, but it was commemorating the 1984 Olympic team, and he was not included in the 85 top set. So this was the first officially licensed by Topps Will Clark Team USA card. Well, in addition to Will Clark, a lot of his other teammates were in the set as well. And for this video, I really, really was planning on showing you the entire set. And I know I have it somewhere in my collection, but I cannot find the thing. I The set is 33 cards. I know I picked it up years ago at a card show for only like five bucks and it's just disheartening that when I went to shoot the video today I just could not find that set so instead I pulled the Will Clark single I know I have the McGuire single out of the set as well I'll show it to you on the screen and there's also some other notables that run the 84 team that did not get 85 tops and that includes Hall of Famer Barry Larkin so this is Barry Larkin's first officially licensed Team USA card. I think Larkin may have shown up in some other sets after this. But in 1992, this was the first card that you could find of him wearing the 1984 Team USA. In addition, I'll show you a couple more out of the set. It also covered the 1988 team. And I'll show you something in a second with that. But... It also featured the current team in 1992, and these are just some singles that I just happen to have out of that set. Jeffrey Hammonds, there's another 84, Marzano's an 84, there's a 92, Charles Johnson, Chris Wimmer, Tony Phillips, and Chris Roberts. Well, some of these cards on the 92 may look really, really familiar to you, and that's because this was probably the most notable player on the 92 team, Jason Giambi, because those images were also used in the Stadium Club issue the previous year. So as you can see, the images on the 92 guys are also in this 1991 Stadium Club set. So very cool. 
that the 92 team is covered in this set, the 84 team, and the 1988 team. And here's a Scott Bankhead, another 84. But this is not just my collection, minus the set, of course, I can't find. I was recently on eBay, and I found a seller, and I put a bid in an auction to get these. And for just over $7 shipped to my door, I was able to secure 10 packs sealed still of this set. And here's an example of the 88 team, Charles Nagy. And on the back, you can see who else is in the set. And there's Shane Mack that I showed that single just a minute ago. But this is how you would have got them from Dairy Queen back in the day. So I got the Charles Nagy. This one shows Todd Green, another 92 with a Craig Wilson, a 92 on the back. This is Chris Wimmer, another 92 with Jim Abbott on the back of the 88 team. There's Scott Bankhead again, as I showed you I had the single, and it has John Marzano from the 84 team. And here's another one, that this is his first card on the Team USA, and this is BJ Surhoff. He was on the 84 team but did not get an 85 tops, so this is his first Team USA card as well. There's Tony Phillips again from the 92 team. And this guy was on the 88 team but he didn't get a card. And that is Ben McDonald. Ben McDonald would uh, later go on to work pitch for LSU. He would also go on to be a top draft pick of the Orioles. If you collected in the early 1990s or 89, you definitely know who Ben McDonald is. And on the backs, another Jeffrey Hammonds. And in the lot, there were actually some duplicates. And there were actually two Andy Bennises. They're identical. And on the back, John Detmer. And there were actually two Ed Spriggs as well with Bobby Witt on the back, which this is Bobby Witt's first ever Team USA card as he was on the 84 team. So I'm going to open this one up just because I have an extra. What do you guys think? This thing hasn't been touched since 1992. So maybe we'll get lucky and pull one of those big rookie cards. Well, they're not really rookie cards, but maybe we'll pull one of the big names out. Let's just see who we get. I'm going to open this so I can keep the packaging. I should have uh, got a pair of scissors for this. Would have been a little easier. I'm trying to slide them out here. That way if it is a McGuire, I'm not damaging it. And the middle card is Ben McDonald. Oh, okay, so I stand corrected. There's actually four cards in each pack. I thought there was only three. So additional Ben McDonald, Dan Melendez, and there's the Bobby Witt, and this one has Ed Sprague that I mentioned before. So very cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to open the Andy Bennis yet. I might open that if I get a chance to see Andy Bennis. I've seen him a couple times in person. As a matter of fact, I got him to sign my 1988 Team USA card in person once. And uh, I told him I was trying to collect the whole set sign. He said, well, good luck with that. <laughs> and he wasn't being mean. He was just kind of joking. But again, this is my favorite player out of the pack. Um, I wish I would have pulled one, obviously, when I opened that pack. But I, like I said, I only paid just, I don't know, this came out to about, I don't know, 75 cents a pack or something like that. 70 cents a pack, roughly, for those. And four cards at 70 cents, not a bad pickup. You know, that's 40 cards for 70 cents of this limited edition set. I'm not going to rip all these open because I feel like they have more value to me at least, still sealed in the pack. And then, darn it. I know I have this set, so that's why I really don't want to open these because I already have the set somewhere. I just got to find the darn thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have one more video in store tomorrow, Saturday, 
and that deals with the 1992 Dream Team. So definitely if you get a chance, check that out. I look forward to your comments below. Thanks for watching another episode.